Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the update that is currently available for ZBrush 2021.6.6. This is a new update that is available and of course it doesn't come with much stuff but for sure it does come with a couple of things that I guess a lot of you guys may want to see. So recently we did talk about ZBrush Core Mini and a couple of updates that was coming with it and ZBrush Core is also getting some significant update at this point. So what are the new things that are coming with ZBrush 2021.6.6? You know, these things are relative to individual artists it depends on how you work with zbrush so previously we did see an update with the sculptress pro sculptress pro is basically what you get when you're working in blender with a tool known as dean topo so it simply tessellates your mesh once you're sculpting so in this case for example let's say we have a mesh right here let's actually turn on our polyframe okay so if we turn on the sculptress pro and we start sculpting see what happens it tessellates that particular area that you're working with and you can get more geometry and this would save you time so instead of going in and turning your dynamesh on you can simply use this focus on the area you know that is more important and get some good results but that is not the update the update that is available now is that sculptress pro now works with the chisel 3d brushes and speaking about the chisel 3d brushes there are more chisel 3d brushes right now and these chisel 3d brushes can help you create and also apply a set of models onto your current model that you're working with so to take a look at this we will turn this off go right here so i'm just going to click on the brush section so we can select the brushes and we will take a look at a chisel 3d brush and by the way there are sets of new chisel 3d brushes that is now available with zbrush 2021.6.6 and you can find one here you can find one here one here and you can also notice that there's a couple of updates to this so let's go ahead and select one of them so i'm just going to select that one and let it load and with that loaded we would go in and let's look for something that we can work with okay so let's take a look at the nose for example so before now how this thing works is this simple let's turn off symmetry press x on your keyboard to do that how this works is pretty simple you click and drag so in this case you click and drag and then you have it and you can tell that we have some artifacts happening around here now the reason why we're having these artifacts is because we don't have enough geometry around here and this in several cases you might need to go in and start compensating for that but this is actually something that is no longer going to be a problem so if you're using zbrush 2021.6.6 this is no longer going to be a problem as all these vdm brushes that now exist with the chisel brush or that exist in zbrush and alongside with the chisel brushes that you can get can work with the sculptress pro so if we turn on the sculptress pro right now and we go in here and i choose to click and drag you would also notice that we're getting that result but not as much now the sculptress pro is heavily reliant on the size of your brush so if i also press s on the keyboard to reduce the size of the brush make sure i have sculptress pro turned on click and drag and you know swivel this about this point you would see that we're getting a much more finer looking detail so if you're thinking about creating something like this or you're trying to use the chisel brushes right here in zbrush that is also a very wonderful option so if we go over to the chisel organic which is a very new one you can also see that we have some stuff so let's allow this load and you can also see that we have some stuff some very interesting things right here so we can pick on something like the animal fin and we can click and drag and you can see that so we're having very interesting details going in there and we can you know just increase the brush size a bit because we don't want so much details in this other one and we can do the same thing like so and we can also do the same thing like this so these are some very cool brushes that you can take advantage of you can go in and look at all of this and you can see some very organic and nice looking stuff which you can throw onto your model and you can also go over and check out the chisel brushes or the chisel shapes so this is also a very cool one that you can work with so you can select that and you can also see some very interesting shapes that you can create by simply using this now while we talk about this there's also some very nice implementations that is currently available so in terms of working with you know the mesh extract right now 50 percent gray would cut off the mesh extract for you if you're working with that and for some reason if you're also working with uh, the dyna mesh this is actually something that was uh, previously updated but i don't think we covered that but if you're working with the dyna mesh now you can also notice that if you go over to your tools right here 
and then you go over to where you have your geometry down here within your dyno mesh there is now a tiny button here and to understand more about the tiny button if you hold on control you would be able to see that so this tiny button actually helps you get a non-smooth looking dyno meshes when you hit the dyno mesh and once you turn it on so depending on what you like to create you can do some very nice things with this so zbrush has actually come a long way and uh, with the 2021 release there was a couple of cool things that came over to zbrush so you know we did talk about some of these things like things like uh, the mesh balloon for example which is really really great for those who are into creating extra stuff, okay, you might want to use the mesh balloon and uh, what the mesh balloon actually does, let's just demo this one more time. So what the mesh balloon actually does is if you have that active, let's also turn this off. So if you have that active, you hold on control, click and drag, you can make something like this by just masking. You can create something like this, which is extremely awesome. And you can also go in and, uh, you know, just clear this mask out. And you can also make something like this so this is a uh, pretty pretty nice so this is pretty pretty nice especially for concept artists they will be able to do some very interesting and incredible things with this and uh, i think this is uh, one of those cool stuff so of course there's a whole lot of options and a whole lot of things that you can now do with zebras like things like the snake curve which is pretty cool we've also seen how you can work with the mesh extrude and also the mesh extrude pro lovely stuff the mesh project is also very cool and uh, these are some nice things that you can now take advantage of while working with zbrush 2021 so this is more like it for those who like to take a look at this i'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you over to the release note where you can see more of the things that is being talked about and it's very interesting to see that the folks at pixel logic are also updating the zbrush core so those who are working with zbrush core will also be able to get some very nice and lovely looking updates and not actually feel left out. And for those who like to try out what ZBrush looks like, maybe you want to try out ZBrush before you purchase, you can actually go ahead and get a free version of ZBrush, which is a ZBrush Core Mini, and you can start sculpting today. You can also notice that the ZBrush Core Mini comes with most of the things that we've just talked about, and you can also see that it does support the Sculptris Pro, which is extremely, extremely awesome. And uh, one more cool thing that was added with the ZBrush Core Mini recently is the ambient occlusion that is added here so if i actually turn this off and turn it back on you can see that and if you're wondering where this exists if you go over to render go all the way to preview ao you can turn this on and turn this off and this is also something that you can get once you you know choose to take a look at zbrush core mini and test it out so link to this as well is going to be in the description getting this one is for free link to reading this uh, notes is also going to be in the description so you can check out some of the updates that's been happening and some of the cool things that's been implemented in zbrush as we speak tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and if i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace